Hello, I'm Michael van Gerwen. Welcome to Behind the Bar with Paul Starr. Welcome to Behind the Bar with Paul Starr, brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Diets Championship. This week we saw the release of the 2016 PDC calendar, £10 million worth of prize money, 10 European events now, and the Premier League heads off to the Netherlands for the first time. And this weekend, of course, we saw the Perth Darts Masters, Phil the Power Taylor wins it for the second successive year. James Wadey defeating the final 11 7, getting a bit of revenge for his world match play semi final loss. In the semi finals, Phil overcame Gary Anderson 10 5, and Michael Van Gerwen went down 10 9 to James. James getting a bit of revenge, of course, for the loss of the World Max Play final this year. Happy to say, as the players head off to Sydney, we can catch up now with the bullet, Stephen Bunting. Uh, Stephen, how are you today? Not too bad, to be honest, mate. How are you? Yeah, all good. So you're in Sydney. So you've had the flight for, from Perth. Um, obviously, it didn't go that well in Perth. It's a good match against Kyle, but uh, what do you take from that? Uh, a lot of positives, to be honest. Um, Miss Gordon was there. I mean, I gave him a, th a three 0 head start, which was which was always going to be difficult coming back from that. But mm. yeah, my scoring was there, my doubles were there in the end, and uh, I think just uh, a few um, dap shots put me off, and uh, yeah. that was it. The crowd was always going to be against me because I was playing a local yeah. a local lad from Perth as well. So yeah, that's... Uh, I'm really looking forward to sitting you now. Yeah, because that is tough. You go all the way to Perth, you don't expect to be playing a local favourite from the PDC circuit, do you? That hurt, really. That's a tough draw, isn't it, in the first round? Uh, probably the toughest because, um, obviously, you know what you get with the likes of Whitlock and, and Paul Nicholson. I think um, Kyle's had a fantastic season as well on the circuit. Um, and... I've played him quite a few times and it's always been 6-5, I think. So uh, I, I knew it was going to be a difficult game and on his patch, he, uh, he just come out uh, on top. Yeah. But anyway, you move on You move on to Sydney, where you are now. Uh, how is it over there? I mean, how are you coping with, um, say, you, you, I mean, you've been there for a few days now, but the jet lag and things like that, or are you just relaxing? I expect, I expect John's giving you late night massages, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, we flew, we flew in, um, I think it was 10, 10 past 10 this morning, right. um, so we got here at, uh, I think it was 5 o'clock, um, we got to the hotel about half 6, 7, went out and had, um, had something to eat and uh, just relaxing in the room now. Mm. I've got a press day tomorrow and uh, I think the dart starts on Thursday, so I've got a few days now just to, just to recuperate, uh, obviously get on the practice board and uh, get myself ready for Thursday. Yeah. Uh, you, do they recognise the, the PDC players um, o over in Australia? I mean, it, obviously darts, you, you mentioned Simon and Paul Nicholson. Uh, is, is darts big in Australia at the moment, are you, are you finding? Um, yeah, there's a few people come up to you when you're on the streets and uh, ask for your autograph and pictures and everything. Uh, maybe not as uh, as much as they do back home, but uh, yeah, it's it's well publicised over here. We're we're literally over the road from the venue this time, and uh, yeah, no, I just can't wait to get in there and get started. The venue looks fantastic, to be honest, and uh, there's posters all around the city of uh, of the of the event as well, so it's all good. Great stuff. And then you're on, on to New Zealand. I mean, this is fantastic. What a fantastic time to be a professional diet player. It's amazing, really. Um, when, when I made the, the switch to the PDC, um, obviously, this is what I wanted to be doing, playing in all the World Series in the Premier League um, and just, just showing what I can do, really, uh, all over the world. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I've not done that so far in this uh, World Series, but... Uh, I'm sure I've got two more events left and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to shining in the next two. Yeah, because you're up to world's number 19 now. What, realistically, what's the target by the end of the year? Because obviously you've got some big ranking events, including the World Championship at the end of the year. I mean, a couple of nights, you know, the Grand Slam, uh, well, I think the Grand Slam is ranking then the Grand Prix. I mean, all of a sudden, you you know, a couple of nice results there. You could Top eight is, is, is very possible, isn't it? Yeah, obviously my aim now is to is to try and push myself into the top sixteen. And um, by the end of the year, if I can get myself in the top ten, I think that'll be a a fantastic achievement, and it's mm. definitely a realistic one. It, it obviously all all depends on form, what I do on the TV and everything, and um, I'm on the floor as well. So it's it's just about gathering momentum now in these World Series events and. 
and pushing on um, for the rest of the season and pushing myself up as high as I can. Brilliant. Well, Steve, um, if you don't mind, I've got a, a, a quick quiz here for you. Around the ball in 60 seconds, if you don't mind. So basically, it's 15 quick fire questions. Just give us the answer that first comes to your head. If you don't mind answering those, if that's okay, mate. That's fine, yeah. Okay, question number one, double three or double one? Uh, double one. Favourite darts venue? Blackpool. Ah, lager, beer or cider? Um, lager. <laughs> Your lager, okay. Favourite darts player? What a question that is. Uh, Chizzy. Chizzy. <laughs> it's actually normally beat him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Favourite sport, not darts? Uh, football. The second best dart player of all time? Uh, Michael Van Gerwen. Ah, steak and chips or pizza? Steak and chips. Yeah. What age was you when you hit your first 180? Oh, uh, nine. Like nine, really, yeah. Favourite singer or band? Uh, Keen, Tom Chaplin. Great stuff. Favourite double? Favourite double, double 16. Favourite film? Favourite film, Predator. <laughs> Great. Best friend in darts? Best friend in darts, got to be cheesy. Cheesy. Again, because you keep beating him, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Your first car, Stephen? First car? Yeah. Um, I don't drive, but if, if, if I did drive, it would probably be um, a limousine or something daft. <laughs> that would be it, yeah, that would be it. And the best match you ever played? It's got to be the world final, hasn't it? Uh, best fa uh, best match would have to be um, when I beat Phil Taylor in the European Championships. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, it doesn't get better than that. And final question, this is the important one, boobs or bums? Um, feet. <laughs> is that a bit of a fetish, should we say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Stephen, thank you so much for your time and joining us on Behind the Bar. And say hello to John there, he's been great holding, holding the, 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 the phone. Yeah, no, he, he does a good job. I mean, uh, obviously he's he's here in uh, in the big bed with him, and uh, yeah, he's he's playing with my feet. Ah, that's where you get the feet. That's where you get the feet thing from, is it? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Stephen. Again, thank you so much, and best of luck for the rest of the World Series, and obviously, certainly for Sydney this weekend. No problem at all, mate. Thanks very much. Thanks. All the best, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Great to catch up with a bullet, Stephen Bunting there, and another face from the PDC. This time a little bit prettier. We have Walk On Girl Charlotte Wood. How are you, Charlotte? I'm all right, thanks, Paul. Are you? Yeah, good. So, uh, a day off today from your busy schedule? The day off today, yeah, just enjoying some nice sunshine outside. Lovely. I, I, you were busy last weekend it, it, um, in Birmingham at the show, I believe. At Moda, yeah, with Daniela, yeah, we yeah, were. Good, good stuff. Hey, she had the big wedding, didn't she? Uh, James and uh, Sammy's wedding. How did that go for her? She did. She had a lovely time. She looked absolutely stunning, as did Sammy. I think yeah. everyone had a really good day with the sounds of it. Yeah. And I see the PDC uh, calendar has just been released. Hopefully that means we'll see more, more of you girls um, on, on, on the circuit. Obviously nothing confirmed as yet, I'm, I'm sure, but that'd be nice. Yeah, it would be nice. We'd love to obviously get some more dates. Yeah, great. So, what are you? Um, I see you're busy there. What <laughs> is that? Messages coming through? They're so, coming through now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So, um, and what's coming up? So, uh, more modelling work in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I've got um, British Superbikes this weekend um, at Cadwell, so I'm hoping that the weather stays nice for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just general modelling work um, week to week, and then we've got a few exhibitions coming up as well. In September, we've got quite a few, yeah. so that would be good. Great stuff. Of course, you're, you're part of, um, uh, with Daniel, Elite Models, isn't it? The, the, um, what you're part Angels Elite, yeah. Uh, yeah, Angels Elite. So how, how did you get in uh, originally to, to the PDC Dark? Because obviously it's a great time, not just for the players, but obviously for the, for the models like yourself to be part of, of, of this, this well, worldwide show now. Yeah, I mean, I feel really lucky to be a part of it. Mm. Um, I've worked with Daniela a few years ago. We did super bikes together. And then um, I joined Karen, and um, she basically just rang me one day and asked if I'd like to do it. So, mm. um, yeah, that's how it started. And obviously, I've watched Daniela do it for a few years. And, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's, it's a great experience, and especially with Daniela, because we, we're really good friends, so yeah. we get on really well. 
Great. And of course, I believe Karen was one of the original um, Warcom girls for the PDC. Yeah, she was the first one in yeah. the 80s. Oh. Um, yeah, so she's got loads of stories to tell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it, exactly. So, so you, you, we was at Blackpool. Obviously, we've seen you at Blackpool a few times. That's a great event, isn't it? That's a great, great venue. Yeah, I think that's the best one so far for me. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's, it's a long tournament as well, and it's mm. it's it's great fun. Um, I, I think it's the best venue as well that I've I've been at. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, and um, are, you, are you involved? Um, and the later the tournaments later in the year, is any confirmation on any of these, like the World Championships and things? There's no confirmation yet, but hopefully, oh. hopefully, um, yes. I'll be doing a few more this year. Yeah, we definitely need Charlotte um, at these major events. So, uh, okay, so nice day off today. Anything planned? Just a bit of shopping. I think I'm going to go out with my mum in a minute. Ah, Do a lovely. bit of shopping. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, Charlotte, we won't take any more of your time. Thank you so much for joining us on, on Behind the Barn. We look forward to seeing you uh, at the next PDC event. See you soon. Thanks, Bye. Charlotte. See you soon. Bye. Great to catch up with PDC walk-on girl Charlotte Wood there. And now time for the BDO beat. The players headed off to Antwerp in Belgium at the weekend. The men's tournament was won by Jim Williams, three sets nil against Sven Verdonk. The ladies' tournament was won by world's number one, Dieter Hebben, two sets nil against Sharon Prince. Tito also got a little bit of revenge on Anastasia Dobromislova with a five legs to one semi-final win. Of course, Anastasia defeated uh, Dita in last year's uh, final. Uh, of course, the win for Dita extends the, the, the gap at the top over Fallon Sherrick in, in the BDO ranking system. Uh, this weekend, there's the Winmau BDO Wolverhampton Open and the Swedish Open, which for the first time ever carries BDO ranking points. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, click on the link below to see some of the latest BDO matches and classic matches on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, it's free. On Monday 7th of September, stars from the world of sport and entertainment head over to Manor Farm Lakes Biggles Wade for the PDC Invitational Fishing Championship 2015. Previous winners Darren Webster and Spencer Oliver will be competing for this year's prize. And then there's a rumour going around that a former six-time world snooker champion is practising lots and lots, spending a lot of time around the lakes looking forward to landing another major trophy. Tickets are available for £10. You can purchase them by clicking on the link below or visiting www.manorfarmfishing.com. Sky Sports will be covering the event on a dedicated one-hour show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on Behind the Bar. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and join us next week on more Behind the Bar with Paul Starr, brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Diet Championship. Oh, 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 oh,